Hello lovely ones, little spiritual comrades. I'm feeling kind of zhuzhed up right now. This reading is going to have a reality transurfing kind of vibe to it. All right, the star card just fell off the bottom. So I know I'm talking to someone who is unfazed by a lot of things. I know I'm talking to somebody who can keep their mind above the uh, mainstream radio waves and you know, I'm getting that your mind is like a pirate radio station here, okay? So I know there's going to be someone watching and appreciating this reading. So we're going to get real into it here, okay? I love poker too, and this is kind of pulling on my poker loving ways. So I've got some regular playing cards on the table that I have altered. So we're going to get into that. Okay, Spirit Guides, Archangel Michael. Thank you for joining me, ancestors. Thank you for surrounding this reading with love and protection. I invite in any clear messages from anyone in the non-physical who moves in the love and the light. This is gonna sound crazy. I'm seeing someone in my mind's eye chewing on a flute or like, you know those recorders? I don't know if you have them in America or anywhere else, but in school, they get us playing recorders, right? But this is like a flute or something that you would blow air through, an instrument. But the person's not using it the way it would normally be used. They're using it completely differently, all right? Everything I get through is symbolic. So I don't know what that's gonna mean to someone out there. <sighs> chewing through something it's funny okay show me what message we need one two three on my clock show me what message we need for whoever's watching this okay a couple of riffles all right someone could be saying goodbye to heartbreak you could be finally moving on i'm seeing someone going like that with their hands like yeah i'm done with you <laughs> you know and you know really moving into the powerful energy of spiritual transformation okay okay i'm gonna cut the deck right here yeah judgment spiritual transformation okay gimme what have we got what loot what loot have we got okay king of cups now on the bottom of the deck okay i'm getting you could be getting your emotional field back like your emotional range you could be feeling things in a better way, right? Something shifted so that you can filter emotions through in a much more beautiful way. Lovely, lovely mischievous energies here. Six of pentacles, page of pentacles. So I feel like someone's getting ready to have some fun here, okay? You've renewed something in your life. There's a clear and fresh platform. And I feel like you're being very generous with your interests, your enthusiasms, your flowing energy in new directions, and new energy is coming back to you. Chariot energy with the lovers. Okay, I'm getting that you could be ready for a new pathway of the heart. You could have, like I say, just cleared out the final remnants or fragments of something, right? And now the slate is clear for you to drive on it. It's funny, we've got two cars here. They're giving me GTA. I feel like I'm speaking to someone who you can literally move your mind in really cool ways compared to the majority of people, right? You may find people seem a bit slower than you or they just can't escape their mindset, but you can escape your mindset. This is the road and this is the car. But funnily enough, we've got this old station wagon. I'd, I'd take that one, wouldn't you? But, uh, you know, it's like the car's ready and the road is ready. Page of Wands, more enthusiasm. Ten of Cups, there we go. I'm getting that your heart space is now your own. Four of Wands, Four of Swords, taking it easy. Wheel of Fortune, now Three of Pentacles. It's like God helps those who help themselves, but like you're, you've really helped yourself. Like, And there's new energies coming in here because that Three of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles, this is like you're opening new doors now. Okay, you're opening new doors and you've got this clear heart, four of wands with the ten of cups. I feel like you've learned a lot in whatever last cycle you went through. And with this chilled out energy, this is what's going to win, right? All this chill with the wheel of fortune. This is like being zen at the casino of life. This is like you know the universe has to respond to your mind and you've got it way, way up, way ahead of the game, like totally not detach like in a negative way but just zen right like nothing phases you anymore nothing bothers you anymore 
If it's not fun, then you're not interested. If it doesn't enhance your life, then you're not interested. You know you can recuperate from anything now. So there's this energy of nothing can manipulate or control your emotions because you know you can handle all of it. There we go. <laughs> we've got the joker card and it's free free right so you could be feeling really free i've got to put this up there in its rightful place i hope you can see that yeah you can see that okay so what I'm, what am i saying about you being an avatar level player of the game yeah really seeing through your immortal nature and nothing can bother you you've got your feet up you've got your martini glass right this is you being above the concerns of people who allow stress to get to them. This is you being above those who allow themselves to be pulled onto the hamster wheel. You're the one driving this car and, you know, I feel like you've escaped some sort of maze of thought in the past, maybe. Let's show me a, a rat run, you know, like in a maze, in a lab, right? Like a, a lab maze, rat maze, whatever. So you've gotten out of that and you're like the lab technician now. You're the one overlooking everything. You know, creatively free I'm getting. <laughs> and look what we've got. Escape portal. You did it. You got out. You got free. I feel like you're realizing the value of freedom. Show me. We're going to get one more of these. Then I'm going to clarify all of these. We're going to go deeper. Yeah, forfeit for more. Eight of cups with the queen of swords energy. And I, I should say spades and hearts because I do love regular cards also. But uh, you escaped from something here. And now we've got portal of fire, passion, freedom. You know, I was thinking about fire yesterday. What can stop fire? Fire's smooth, right? I was getting a download about the smoothness of air and the smoothness of fire related to the ace of wands and the ace of swords and it's coming up now because it's relevant now you are the smoothest right smooth operator completely zen you'd probably be pretty good at poker because with this card here you are you are unboxable they can't box you in they can't pin you down right and now i've just noticed that the joker is upside down here with the words being upright. So they're kind of giving me the hanged man, like you're willing to sacrifice yourself off anyone's timeline. You're willing to just cut it dead because you don't want to be owned, controlled or manipulated. You want to be appreciated for who you are and be allowed to really flow your true essence into the realm here. So there's this big opportunity for you to flow your true essence into the realm in a way that will take you to your Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, because now you're operating at a way smoother level. Okay, show me spirit, please. Show me this page of pentacles, two of pentacles, okay. Lots of options, and again, like, you're being very zen with this. I feel like this is an energy of you experimenting out in the real world. So this could have something to do with, you know, dating again or something like that. Or this could just be you trying stuff out. But the perfect analogy for this energy is you getting back in the dating pool, you know, throwing a few lines out, seeing what happens, seeing how the energies of the universe respond to you, not being too committal. Despite the fact that we've got the lovers and the ten of cups and the four of wands, I feel like these are things that you will not forfeit right you forfeited what you had to back here but now it's like you are they show me the burner is set right so you know the temperature you want to cook your food at you know the speed you want to drive at you know your tempo now someone's achieved a nice relaxed tempo with their emotions with the way they live their life and so i feel like now you know that whatever comes into your life it has to match your frequency or you're just gonna let it spin off right you're not gonna let anyone come onto your boat with the wrong attitude because you're zen you're coasting you're fluid you're smooth hierophant no it's not the hierophant why am i saying that judgment xx <laughs> funnily enough okay on the six of pentacles so i feel like there's a lovely energy of you going with the flow here finding new pleasures and letting them transform your soul i feel like you're just coming out of a big transformation here something that affected your spirit so this would have been something that emotionally moved you 
I'm hearing backed into a corner. So this was one of those situations we come onto the earth for to be forced into spiritual transformation. Because if everything went our way from a young age, we would do nothing. Come on, guys. We know what we're like. We would just get bratty and spoiled. Would we do our spiritual work without suffering to kick us up the bum? I don't think we would personally. And I know human nature very well. So you reacted appropriately to something that felt bloody horrible right but you you transformed in all the right ways and i feel like you you really cleared your spirit up you really cleared your emotions up and, and you got to see who you truly were with all this the moon energy coming out on the chariot a new pathway something about driving at night here for somebody show me and also there's a mystery here king of wands with the moon someone doesn't know what you're up to or what you're doing or who you're with for somebody but we've got the chariot so i feel like you are keeping your business ideas to yourself i feel like you've learned in the best way possible that you are the ceo of your life and you are free to do whatever you want so i feel like you're cooking up some really beautiful kind of alchemical plans things you might throw out and think you know how's the universe gonna like this is this my path do i belong here i'm hearing niche so I feel like you could be finding something that's a beautiful niche that no one else can do but you and moving forward with it. The moon card here could indicate, you know, needing to keep things under the radar, right? Because I feel like some of the ideas you may have could be super duper copyable, like people would just want to copy that shit, you know? So yeah, I feel like you being in your own authority with the king of wands and you being quite I'm hearing divinely protected and I feel like you you help God to divinely protect you by keeping your information under the cloak of night. So something quite magical here as well. So I feel like there are very magical plans for you to be moving forward with. Show me the lovers. Seven of swords energy. Okay, what else? I don't know if you guys know a song called Sarani, No Games, but I feel like you're done with that. Magician energy with the seven of swords i'm gonna pull one more because i'm so nosy because this could be you counteracting some sort of gameplay with your zen ways and owning your mind i feel like you've made a stern decision to not let anyone yeah to not let anyone influence your mind strength energy you could have been dealing with someone in the past who loved to trigger you right and now you've realized that was a beautiful blessing a lesson that was a beautiful blessing because it helped you gain mastery over your own internal world the reactions of the body which are animalistic in all of us and uh, you know keep that mind clear because if they can take over your mind they can take over your life right so you're keeping your mind clear freedom seagulls you're keeping your mind clear and, and refocusing on beautiful plans here. Beautiful, magical plans, I would say. Look at this. We've got the Ten of Cups right next to the Ten of Cups. I feel like something could have had you almost giving up on love for someone out there. It could have almost made you give up on love, but then you realize, oh, this person doesn't, doesn't represent love. Oh, oh, I'm not going to let someone who is the most loveless, conflictual manipulator make me give up on the real thing. I don't think so. So there's a new lease of life here where you're realizing the difference between the real thing and the game players. And I'm, I'm getting this energy of you're not going to let the ones who, all right, let me, let me translate this. Okay. I'm getting this message through. I'm not letting someone who is simply a messed up, toxic adult female put me off of real women. Okay. And you could say the same the other way round or whatever, but that's the message I'm getting. So you're realizing you're the mature one. You're the one with the beautiful alchemical plans. You're the one that sparkles. You're the one that, that the universe listens to, right? Your vision's very powerful here. There we go, Ace of Pentacles. So something that starts as a dream becomes a physical, true reality. And I feel like I'm speaking to someone who knows that as long as you keep your mindset beautiful with the magician, as long as you respect your mindset, the outer reality must reflect the inward state. And you know that you've got power in your now moment with the magician, lots of strength. And I'm getting an upgrade with strength where you've gone up in your perspective. You can see over the situation now with new eyes, with a whole new lens of consciousness. And I feel like you've got your, your faith has been renewed here for that reason. Three of wands to the four of wands, refocusing your power, not letting the wrong ones put you off of what is your birthright. Six of pentacles with the three of wands. So this is about 
seeing clearly, but feeling people's energy clearly. I feel like you're, you're starting to discern who is just good on the surface. Even if they're polite when they first meet you, I feel like you're feeling underneath the surface. You can see beyond the surface now. You can see a little bit ahead into the future because if you can read someone's magnetic field, that makes you psychic. You know what their energy is likely to alchemically create in your reality if you were to mix energies with them. So you're deciding. I feel like there's this real beautiful energy of, God, I gave you so much. I gave you so much my generosity and you, you nearly gave love a bad name. You know, if, if, if this person you dealt with would have been of the love, of the light, of God... They wouldn't have been able to give love a bad name. But now you're realizing they don't give love a bad name. They just give themselves a bad name, right? Because you're saving all your currency, your focus, your time, your money. All of those things are, are, are priceless, valuable commodities. And you're realizing that. Refocusing your energy, giving new people a chance or new situations a chance. A chance and having faith in whatever this four of wands means to you, this is something beautiful. This is you getting to the tippy top. This is you being spiritually secure, right? And knowing your value. Show me the four of swords, please. King of swords. There's that Zen energy of the mind, right? King of swords with the four of swords. I feel like you're realizing it all starts in the mind. It all starts in that mind space, the choices we make. I'm hearing the food I ate, right? everything starts with what we choose to focus on everything starts with respecting the inner sanctum of the mind and like i say you've upgraded your mindset now i feel like you're cruising because they keep showing me like gta like cars and but you're zen you're like you're proper chilled with this five of cups with the wheel of fortune it's like you really gave it your all to some sort of situation and ended up feeling a little bit Maybe exposed, like maybe you told someone how you felt about them. You offered them something here. I'm hearing offered them the world or there's something where you put your all into something and they just showed you that they weren't right for you. But there's something about you feeling bare and exposed here. But I feel like this has somehow revealed the inner child in you, right? It somehow sparked something off in you with this page of wands. So I feel like now with the page of wands on the table twice, this is an energy of you fully focusing only on the things that make your soul feel moved, warm, encouraged, blissful. There's an energy of a burning fire here in a log cabin type scenario, like I'm getting a fire through that feels really cozy and lovely. This is fire that warms you and doesn't burn you. So I'm getting that you've picked up your guitar and you're ready to play another tune. And the Page of Wands can represent finding something that's really enamoring right finding something that's really really worthy of your focus something you couldn't resist focusing on even if you wanted to resist right this is something that is naturally aligning with your smooth nature something naturally blending and naturally beautiful yeah we've got sashat wisdom number 31 and i feel like you've definitely achieved a lot of wisdom here okay emotional wisdom show me more These cards are so slippy. You've got to wait ages for the one that wants you to pull it. There we go. Nefty. Meditation number 10. Feeling complete within yourself. And again, with these energies of you being so zen, I feel like everything you do now is going to turn to gold with the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's had a real big lesson in who is worthy, who is not, why they're worthy and why they're not. I'm hearing you were in a situation with a lack of respect, like basic lack of respect but now you're realizing this person doesn't represent anything you know anything too beautiful you're realizing that the beautiful stuff is in your future portal of fire and what they're showing me here pure connection matches with the union and power so back number 23 game on this is funny. This is like you've realized that the best way to play the game is to be peaceful and zen. Because there's a pure connection here, union and power. And this is the energy I'm getting, that you are someone who is so chilled and the universe trusts you because you're so smooth, right? The universe trusts you with a lot more than you think. 
because the universe only trusts the ones who don't crave power with true power, right? So this is almost like you're getting a higher position than you might have even expected or wanted and that's what makes you ideal for the job because you don't crave this position of cosmic power you just naturally flow into it there we go portal doors opening you decide rewards wild card no way because this is essentially the wild card too this is you being a complete anomaly to the universe and you know what? The universe loves us anomalies. We are unique. We are original. <laughs> I'm getting a funny message. No Android could ever copy you because you're just such, you're so free and so divinely connected. So this is a message for somebody and God wants you to know your Zen ways, your smooth ways are getting you into these new portals and your decisions are so important here. What you decide will manifest with the 10 of cups and the ace of pentacles. So this is beautiful that you've kept your mind so clear and beautiful. I'm hearing theater of the mind. So you're realizing your mind is your cosmic temple. But this is gorgeous. I feel like you can make any move you want. And the energies are good. Staying in those uh, beautiful, zen, peaceful energies is going to take you everywhere you need to go. That's just such a beautiful card. I don't want to put it away. Like, I'm going to leave it there. Let's see. Let's see. Doors are opening. Rewards. Rewards for you. Okay. I will let go of my negativity like a glowing lantern into the night sky. Yes, you did it, baby. Yes, you did it. Maybe you did a ritual. Maybe you let off one of those lamps or something. The night sky helps me to look inside my soul and set intentions for the months to come. And you've got a beautiful blank canvas where you can literally do anything you want and you've earned enough connective points of support with the universe that you know it's got to come to fruition on this night i will connect with my spirit guides and learn my place in the universe so i feel like you know that whatever you've been through thus far it hasn't represented home for you it hasn't represented you being where you deserve to be in your true positioning but that's coming in for you you could be having some really interesting downloads on this new frequency of peace and prosperity, right? On this day, I sow seeds of intention and take my destiny into my own hands. And I'm speaking to someone who really likes to take responsibility for what comes to you. You know if something comes to you in life, it has to be a frequency match. There's no escaping that. And once we can get our little alchemical heads around that, once we can squish the emotion, and get into our, you know, our, our higher self, our spiritual self. This is what life starts to look like. All right. So flying ahead in something passionate, beautiful, fresh start. They want you to know you uh, escaped something that would have left you miserable, chasing your tail. Okay. And they love the power you have of your own mindset. 22, 22 on my clock. The universe is working with you hand in hand. Okay. Oh, you're a powerful one. I hope you like this reading. Mwah, mwah, mwah.